everyone, we're back again with the Jurassic World Legacy Collection Reimagined uh, Roaring Real Phil Carnotaurus. This Carnotaurus is the rubbery one. He's got a nice, soft, rubber uh, face. He's got a more realistic feel. He's not hard plastic. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the back of the box. This is new packaging, too. It's got, um, like, the volcano scene in the back. So, it's really cool-looking artwork. Then we've got the information on the back. It shows his scan code. And uh, it allows you to unlock him for the game. All right, so, roaring sounds. And then it's in several different languages. So, there's not any... Uh, major toy lines with this but they do have the jurassic world legacy collector uh what is this one copter chase pack mm -hmm. so we've got that one too that we'll be doing uh at a later video so we're going to take a look at this one and see uh, how he compares. Do we have another corner? We have the legacy one, don't we? Or the mm -hmm. Hammond collection. Okay. So let's take a look at... Ah, uh, this one. I can't get the... I'm trying not to... With this rubbery, I don't want to uh, damage the rubber. Alright, so he has the... Uh... Yeah, you have to take the... Box. It does not have the piece on the bottom so that you can reach under there. So I'm going to just reach under here and turn these tags. Just slides out like that. And the paperwork that comes with him. He's got his instructions. Shows where his scan code is hidden. And it shows you how to change out the batteries. Alright, so... Let's take a look at this figure. Alright, his scan code is not like the other dinos that we've had lately where they just slide out. This one is actually behind a door feature on his that's, leg. That's where the damage piece was in the original. Okay, so that's just the damage spot. Okay, mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. Um, so if you can take a look at the QR code. I guess it's a QR code. It's a scan and go code. Alright, so that's pretty cool that it's hidden and it's very well hidden too. Like the paint job keeps the, the thing. It's hard to see. Uh, let's see. There is no real movement in the tail. There is some squishy feeling plastic in there. I don't know if it's a wire or what it is, but it does not turn. Uh, there's not a lot of posability. He's got these little arms that are on a ball hinge joint. And his legs are on a uh, clicking hinge, uh, rotating. He does not have a splay in his legs. So his feet are pretty close together all the time. And it appears the uh, he's got an ankle joint here that lets it turn in and out that'll help with some balancing you turn it out just a little bit to get it to stand up it's got a great paint job with this black and red scheme with the white nails and the teeth he's got pretty good uh sculpt work inside his mouth it's all rubbery so there is no uh open and close feature uh it looks like you can open and close it it feels like it would do some damage to do that and it's got a little bit of a squeak to it when you're doing that uh it's got the what are these the ridges. the ridges on his back are kind of cool Let's see how he compares to the Hammond collection. His face looks a little bit... It's a completely different sculpt. Uh, this one's definitely got a smaller face. 
Oh. And not being able to open and close the mouth. Like it's always open. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's a little bit of a detriment. And then you got to find the button. It's hidden up under the rubbery skin. So this one's a lot of fun. It's yes, different horns. oh, he does have different horns. These are more uh, pointed outward instead of just. They're upward. closer together, too. Yeah, they're closer together, and they point outward more like, I guess, more like a, a claw or something on the top. But they are, and they are uh, rubbery, so they're really soft. Uh, let's see, what else? How many sounds does he have? One... Two, three, four, five. I can't tell. Six, it sounds like. Yeah, it sounds about like six different sounds, which is kind of cool. That's, I think that's the most we've gotten. Um, and this one's going to be a lot of fun to play with. Um... Posability is really low, so that makes it a little less fun to play with. But the great, he's got a such a cool color scheme. It's more, uh, makes me think of the red racks that we did. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what else? Do, what else can we say about it? Mm -hmm. I don't know much about Carnotaurus. Speaker. Oh, yeah, it's got the speaker. It's oh, and he's a got a bigger speaker. It's a much bigger speaker than most of the other ones have. Uh, he also has a little bit of white on his chest here. I didn't notice that before. Oh, yeah. It's a good fade. Uh, and it's a good spot for it, too. Like There's something sticking out right here. What do you mean? Something sticking yeah, out? It's like sharp. Uh, oh, wow, that is sharp. I don't know what it is. Uh, speaker, maybe? It may be, oh, this may be where the rubber is attached to the the frame of the body. Oh, okay. So that applies. So I don't know if this is damaged, but it, this is very sharp. Like, this be piece. Be careful if you have that on yeah, there. Yeah, be careful if you have that on there. Um, don't peel it off. Let's not see. I don't know what it is. It feels like, it feels like it's the, where the plastic is uh, glued on. But it's not that bad. Um, you might want to check uh, if you got if you've before got you a, yeah something. before you buy it. Check and make sure that you don't have a super sharp because this is almost razor sharp. Is that a piece of the? Is that a piece of plastic for like the sound? I don't know. What it is. I don't know. I don't want to take it. I don't want to do anything to do any damage to it. But just be careful um, if you're going to get this one because that could be. Uh, that that's sharp enough that it cause a little bit of bleeding um, if the kid gets a hold of it just right. Uh, but other than that, this is going to be a fun action figure. Um, the color scheme, he's going to be really cool to post uh, with some of your other dinosaurs. And he's got these nice bright yellow eyes. And they almost look... Oh, they're green. They're the yellowish green. Mm -hmm. Um, and they almost make me think of like a cockatiel's eyes or something. I don't know why. It just makes me, th made me think of a cockatoo. So. Mm. All right. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that subscribe button, like, and comment for us too. Uh, we we enjoy the doing videos for everyone, and we hope everyone enjoys uh, collecting as much as we do, and we'll hope to see you next time.